Hey guys, welcome back. Last episode we got the head and block assembled and installed the intake and the turbo. Today we're gonna install the cooling and oiling system. Welcome to VTech Academy, you're about to get schooled. So what we have here are the cooling and oiling parts that we need. Things you need for a turbo, for the oiling system, you need a, a drain. We got this hydraulic fitting that we put on the lathe and made this barb for the oil drain. It was TIG welded on the inside by John Owens, Future Fab. We also needed a oil feed, so we got a sandwich plate with a, a 6AN fitting. We used the OEM fitting. We just cut this end off and got this 6AN piece TIG welded on also by John at Future Fab. And then for the cooling, we got this block off. It was, it, it was originally a nut. I uh, ground off the nut, drilled the hole, and uh, tapped it with a six millimeter 1.5 tap so that we can fit this barb in for the coolant feed. This came off of the K23 turbo engine. So we just salvaged those from that. This is a 16 millimeter 1.5 thread. We, we drilled and tapped this so that it would fit in there. We made this coupling barb, at least Scott, Scott made this coupling barb out of one of these pieces of aluminum so that we can connect these hoses for the manifold. The exhaust manifold has coolant passages in it. And we also got all new coolant hoses. We got this uh, 6AN feed hose so that we can connect the sandwich plate and the oil feed together. Scott made that as well. Yeah, he's a handyman. Now that we got everything we need to connect the oil and cooling system, we're gonna throw it all together. I can turn the axle down in the lathe to make some nice <laughs> relief. Right there? relief. <laughs> all right, so I uh, got all wrapped up. Well, not all wrapped up, mostly wrapped up. Uh, any issues? Uh, we have an issue with this drain hose. It was just a mock up hose, it's coolant hose, so if right. you put oil through it, it's going to eat it up. Right, so. so a longer one maybe yeah so it can clear the intermediate shaft yeah either that or you have to check it every 20 minutes to make sure it doesn't run through <laughs> yeah have all right you. cool uh scott actually suggests machining it down so it's real thin so it <laughs> no not that either okay i had a few things to figure out there's like some vacuum lines and stuff for the probably the wastegate and the blow-off valve and also the actuator for the uh two-stage turbo uh, but i'll need to get a manual to figure out what those what those should actually look like yeah. so we don't hook it up wrong. You ready to try it in a car? Yeah. Cool, so I think we'll try it in the budget EG first. I'm a little concerned that this is so tall that it might hit the firewall. Yeah, yeah. so um, what do you think our other options are? We can try the EK with the uh, EK K1. Yeah, EK K1, because it mounts it farther forward by yeah. over an inch, so yeah. that'd be a good one. If that doesn't work, I think it's CRV time. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so uh, 
I have a manual transmission. I have a first gen CRV. We put it in that. Yeah. That way we can finish up that kit too, because That's it's cool. actually slightly different than the um, uh, than an EK kit would be. But People would use work. EK. The subframe. The subframe is actually slightly lower in relationship to the uh, side rails, the uh, the frame rails. So, I mean, if you're using EKK1 kit to do a K swap in your CRV, you should put like a four tenths inch spacer underneath the rear mount, and then it works oh, fine. Okay. So we'll just make a new rear bracket or side brackets or something uh, to do it. So, but you know, there's a lot of room above that, so we could even maybe go to the top mount intercooler yeah, again. That would be awesome. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. Jump clear. Yep, exactly. Well, then that would mean the stock uh, intake manifold yeah. too, since it's center feet on top. All right, cool. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, we are going to, I think, next bolt us to a transmission and try it in a car. Uh, I want to thank uh, you and Scott. You guys did a lot of fabrication, look like, to get this thing to hook up. Scott did most of the fabrication. Scott, Scott did most of it. <laughs> well, well, I'll thank him when I see him. Yeah. All right, cool. Very good. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for joining us. Another episode of VTech Academy. And if you uh, like what you're seeing, please consider liking and subscribing and uh, possibly even heading over to the VTech Academy website, vtechacademy.com, and uh, picking out some merchandise. Anyway, guys, thanks for clicking on us. What do you have to say? Uh, see you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this, this is only the beginning. You're about to get schooled. <laughs> nah, then it's gonna. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Last time. <laughs> and the oiling system. <laughs> and we used. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha.